Okay, so on this question, the sum of two numbers is 12. One number is 20 less than the other. Find the numbers. Okay, so first thing we do, the sum of two numbers is 12. That means x plus y equals 12, right? The sum, they add up to be 12, right? The sum of two numbers is 12. So I just add them up, it equals 12. Sum means add. Next, one number is 20 less than the other. Okay, so that means one number, you know, one number x is equals 20 less. Now that's 20 taken away at the back. You remember that. That's the tricky part of that phrase that a lot of people forget. So do you see, see how I directly translated that second sentence? But you got it right. So one number, call it X. You could start with, you think, well, how do you know it's X, not Y? You could start with either one, doesn't matter. Just put, start with Y, whatever. One number, X, is, remember, is is equals, 20 less. That means 20 is subtracted at the back than the other. Now you might think, well, how do you know that? Well, think about what would you do if you had 20 less than 100? The 100 would go first and then the 20 would go at the back, wouldn't it? It's just what that phrase means. See that English phrase, 20 less than, means the 20 is subtracted at the back, not the front. It's the very meaning of that phrase, isn't it? So this means x equals y minus, so I just brought this equation down to here. x equals y minus 20. See how I got that right from the words? One number, x, is equals 20 less, that means 20 is at the back, than the other number, y minus 20. Okay, so now I have to solve. So I got these two equations. Whenever you have two letters, you need two equations. How am I gonna solve these two equations? Well, step number one is you start with the x or y, well, you start with x or y uh, with no number in the front. Do we have an x or y that has no number in the front? Yeah, right here. Well, actually we have lots of them, don't we? <laughs> yeah, I'll just start with that guy. Um, and step number two, um, get that letter alone. And in our case, well, get that letter alone, step two, get that letter alone. And um, in our case, right here, X already is alone. See how the X is already alone right here? X already is alone, I don't have to do anything. Great. Step three, plug into the other equation. So I'm gonna plug into the other equation. So I'm gonna take that y minus 20 and plug it in right there for x because that's what x equals right this the second equation says x equals x is the same as y minus 20 so wherever you see x you can replace it with y minus 20 because x is y minus 20 it equals y minus 20. so that equation will become let me bring it on down just to be uh, extra clear here so i'll bring down the top equation x plus y equals 12, and then I'm going to plug in y minus 20 right there for x. So I'll get y minus 20 plus y is 12. So do you see what I've done? I've taken the bottom equation, which had x alone, x is y minus 20, and plugged it in for x in the top equation. You plug into the other equation. So in for x goes y minus 20. So now let's work that out. What do we have? Y plus Y. This is one Y and one Y. This is two Y minus 20, isn't it? One Y and one Y on the same side makes two Y. And then add the 20 over. And we get two Y, bring this down. Two Y is 32. Last step to finish solving for Y divided by two, boom. Y is 16, so we got Y. So now how do you get the other letter? You just plug in anywhere you want. 
doesn't matter. We'll go over here to step four. Plug first answer in any, I'll just say anywhere. First answer anywhere to get the other answer. So I got y equals 16. I'm, I'm just going to grab that first equation, bring it on down right there. So x plus y is 12. Uh, it doesn't matter. You could use the second one or whatever. In fact, the second one might be a little easier. It doesn't matter. So plug in the 16 right there because y is 16. So we get x plus 16 equals 12. Last step to finish getting uh, x alone, subtract 16 from both. Boom, boom. Bring this down. X is minus 4, isn't it? X is minus 4. So we got x. We got y. So the two numbers are 16 and minus four. So we go, so they're gonna ask me for the bigger one or the smaller one once I've got that. So let me recap real quick. So what did, what did we do? We, we, we wrote out the equation, the first one, the sum of two numbers is 12, they add it to be 12. Uh, and then one number is 20 less than this. So X equals Y minus 20. And then x is alone, so plug that in for x in the other equation. x equals y minus 20, so replace x with y minus 20. Solve for y, got my answer for y, plug that in anywhere right there to get x, got x, and we got x, and we got y. So what are the two answers? 16 and minus 4. So the smaller number is minus 4. The bigger number is 16. And there we go.